Hello fancy boys and girls of Napoleon Total War Hope you are good, the family, the kids, the dogs, etc, etc We are watching from our satellite here <laughs> Napoleon satellite The game for the uh, 1 vs 1 Premier League For the Napoleon Total War Game between Leac and uh, Lorinium So here is a, a map for the grassy flatland uh, lovers. Here is Larinium. He is the visitor. I will start by him. He plays as Great Britain. He brought uh, eight of these dudes, the foot infantry, the British foot infantry. Uh, he spread them all over the map. And on the other flank, there is a one unit of foot guards. He brought five light infantry and three militias. He got Major General Picton. He got uh, 15 Hussars, that's a cavalry unit, and the King Gemma Legion Light Dragoons. Okay. Here is Leyak. He plays as France. He has uh, on his right wing, at his right wing, four Swiss foot, one uh, Lancer unit, his general staff. Here is the three Voltigeurs. They're hidden uh, by from our eyes at the moment. And here we got uh, one Fusiliers of the line. There they are. We got three old guards. One, two, three. There they are. One uh, militia. And we got four shooter cav here. Yep, this is the the shooter cav. And another lancer unit. So totally six uh, units. A uh, couple of words for this map. Yeah, sure, why not? You see, it's a completely flat land. There are only some, uh, a couple of roads, like this one. And this one over here. There are small groups of forests. Um, and what? There are just a small group of four trees, not forests. Small group of trees. What they are doing? For example, if you place one of your units here, they will get protected by the enemy shots, the enemy volleys. It will be harder to shoot them and if they will uh, get a cavalry charge, the trees over here, they will uh, stop uh, that charge, they will uh, slow, slow them down. Yep, that's the correct word. And uh, the first charge won't be sufficient uh, or very good so we have a tactical moment for now it's not a rush game and okay I'm gonna see you later when the fight starts okay back again back again in the game what we have we have movement not an actually fight uh, you see, Lavrinum, he is reinforcing his uh, right flank because there are three old guards here and uh, plenty of cavalry. And while Lavrinum is moving his troops, Leak is pulling his horses out of here and he's going to reinforce probably his right flank. So, as it seems, uh, that gathering of uh, massive troops over there was a decoy. I think Leak he wants to catch off guard uh, Larinum forces here on the left flank. So he approaches. He is approaching his uh, four Swiss foot versus the one two British land here. Some uh, one light infantry, and one fencibles. There is a one uh, <coughs> um, one two here foot infantry. They are covering the light infantry in the center. 
Larinum is going to take one of his cavalry units, uh, these dudes over here, the 15 of Hussars. He will try to, <laughs> to reinforce his left flank. So, then again here, what is going on? We got the French Cav is not going to take place here on the right flank. Nope. Okay, no action so far. Catch you later. Okay, we have some action here. The British Light Infantry, they are moving forward. They are going to engage. They are going to shoot the, yep, the militia first. That's who, that uh, is the purpose of that militia. They are going to be their mid shield while all guards uh, are coming. I think that all guards suffered some casual casualties. Yes, they lost uh, six men. So, Leak is willing to push his uh, le left flank versus the British right. The French Cav is, is approaching from the center. I think now <coughs> Leak is going to push uh, his uh, left flank versus uh, Larinium's right. And we got here Fusiliers of the line on the left side. We got three old guys over there. And I think uh, Leak now he's going to switch his. Uh, his lines over here, he's gonna place his uh, old guard on the left and he will get his uh, fusiliers of the line on the right. <laughs> French cover is here standing by, probably they're waiting the time, um, the time which the old guards will take place in their for new formation. Though, we have some shots from the British Light Infantry to this uh, militia. They already dropped to 77, 6, 5, 4 men. Yep. Here from a panoramic point of view, you can see that there is a huge gap between the right French flank and the left uh, French flank. There are a couple of voltagers here hidden, though if uh, there is a chance here for the British player, if he wants to, to push in the center and try to split the French army in two, that could be very interesting to watch. Okay, here is the left front, left French front. I'm sorry. Uh, <coughs> they are trying to to deploy and get in range. You see, these guys are losing morale. That's because uh, the old guards are there approaching. These guys, they bring fear to the battlefield to the enemy units. Only the foot guards can uh, can resist to that uh, morale penalty. No, you have to get your general close so you can inspire your men, try to hold uh, longer than usual against your guards. Here we have a uh, French cavalry charge versus the British uh, light infantry. We have a counter charge from the British horses. Yep, the French uh, lines, the French cav stuck here in the trees. Where does that? It's uh, the, what I was telling you before. And here we got two. British foot infantry units, one foot garden and one regular foot infantry, which they are engaging the British troops. Here is the f British Fainzibles. They're going to make a direct charge to the old guard. Yeah. So, this is very interesting. I, when you have a uh, cavalry unit behind your lines, if you charge to the enemy, then you will hit. Uh, your own men too. 
That's why many times you get casualties from your own troops, your own cavalry units. Here we have a cav charge against this foot infantry. Oh, they missed the square. The general now he's unprotected while <coughs> Layax forces they are suffering here from the previous uh, militia charge. And uh, here we got a small flanking move from the British forces versus the old guard. While well, uh, Fusiliers of the line, they are here now to support the flank. And uh, Leak is going to charge his cavalry versus that uh, British foot infantry. Also, Laurinum, as I see it here, he got problems with this uh, French cap, but now they are out of game. Good news for Larinium. Leak is going to try to push his two uh, old guards versus the British foot guard. On the left, there is quiet. There is some. 51, 59, okay, <coughs> uh, Leak <coughs> was shot by this, uh, probably this light foot infantry because he moved his light infantry units closer to his uh, flank. We got one foot infantry from Britain, they are rooting while uh <coughs> um, now it's a very good opportunity to these old guards to push really hard the British right flank. That's cool. You see here what's going on with this foot infantry. They came back to the game. That's because of the good general that Larinum uses. Is using. We got the British foot infantry here to defend from uh, the French cavalry, while the old guards are trying to approach the um, the British here and shoot them down. Larinum he's trying to save <coughs> as many as he can because. <coughs> He had real problems here on his right flank. So this is a good time for the old guard to give some nice uh, shots to this uh, foot infantry with a direct order. Also we got movement here. Larinum now he's, he will try to push his uh, left flank, mid left flank versus the French Voltigeurs. While at the same time, he will try to take the best position over here. He, he needs that against the old guards. Does uh, France has any cavalry units left? Yep, I, I, they still had uh, one Lancer unit there. And Chaucher Chasseval here with 20 men. Militia is rooting. The French general is uh, here. And here they are poaching. Here is uh, <coughs> something tricky. You see, Larinum has his light infantry here in front of his foot infantry units. So, these old guys are going to pick them as a target, the first target. So, actually, <coughs> uh, Larinum has his British foot infantry behind him without taking any serious damage from the old guards. Though they are losing morale here on the center. We got the French cav charge here on the on the middle foot infantry square from that uh, British foot, foot infantry. Movement on the other side. Leak he's pulling out his uh, Swiss flank over here because uh, Lorenum he's pushing him. Though he got his uh, mm, uh, voltages. What's this? Uh, oh, British foot infantry. Okay. Here you can see that um, the old guard is suffering great casualties. They drop to 35 men. That's because they are shooting this uh, King Jamal Jolat foot and not the foot infantry behind them. Also, there are two, one, two, three units which are shooting the old guard, and that's why they are losing men so fast. And also, here they did the same mistake. You see, these guys, they're shooting this this ones while the foot infantry and this foot infantry they're shooting without taking any fire back from uh, the old guard so I think uh, Leak now has real problems here on his left flank he's outnumbered he's losing morale he's losing men he got one two three four five six seven versus two now was three 
10 seconds before here he's losing morale as well he's trying to nail the the left British flank right to the front with his uh, shish foot but uh, the shish foot is now out now because they are taking shots from uh, regular foot infantry and the light foot uh, Leak should press his uh, right flank all of them Ooh, he will try to charge his uh, cavalry against these guys also here we got uh, oh, one foot is rooting uh, Leak pulled away his left flank and now he's engaging his right he's trying to nail the left British flank but see this unit is already in range and he doesn't shoot the British lines I don't know why I think Leak he wants to get closer to the British troops I'm not sure what he's doing the foot infantry now is rooting that uh, several languages did the job pretty good and here Leak has an opportunity to get uh, the game in uh, in the balance because he left he, he his uh, strong left flank is almost destroyed the only one uh, old guard and one uh, uh, old guard and fusiliers of the line with 50 men it's Picton is here, he tries to inspire his men so they can last uh, longer. Here we have a British foot infantry. They're trying to defend from the French cavalry. So they choose foot, they're already in range and they're gonna shoot to this foot infantry. And I think now <coughs> at the moment, yep, there are no French cavalry units in the game. But I think this is the last chance for <coughs> Layak to give a good deal of damage to the British <coughs> units. Though they are losing morale, here you can save these guys. Though they came back to the game, 67 men. Okay, British, Larinium, they, they did suffer casualties, but <coughs> they are okay. No big deal. They still got plenty of foot infantry units, though. France here they're trying to get in in range to shoot the British right flank Fensibles, okay here is a smart move from uh, Larinium, he placed his uh, Fensibles here in the first row so this foot infantry is shooting to that switch foot without taking any fire back Here Larinum is uh, trying, <coughs> he's uh, using his light infantry with a longer range to shoot the Swiss foot. He's gonna kite a little bit. <laughs> Kiting, okay, nice. What we got on the other side, we got um, these two French units are holding the right flank here, so they won't. Uh, they can't help their center. We got one, two, three units here versus two, and another two versus one here. Actually, there are four units versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven to four. And uh, Larinum, he is using his light infantry units. Yes. Though so you got a small problem here with that uh, regular foot infantry. They drop to 48 men, they are losing morale, but I think they are holding pretty good so far. And here is uh, the artillery room, he decided to move his foot infantry units uh, over there, you can see the bl blue line. Leak is uh, chasing him, especially here on the left flank, but I want to show you something here from a panoramic point of view. The French left flank is uh, cut from the main core of the army. So, if Larinum will make a sudden turn with his units here to face these dudes and just place some units here to hold that uh, French light infantry, 
He can nail them, he can take them down. And yet, yep. There he is. British troops already placed. They are suffering a moral penalty from the old guard, but they are already shooting at them. No, Layak is trying to form lines as fast as he can. Though these guys they are tired. Yep, and the old guard now is out of the game without giving any shots to these British British foot infantry units. Okay, voltages here in line. They're trying to engage the British troops on the center, though. The foot guards, they will turn from that side and they will uh, probably charge to these voltages. They're out of ammo, I presume. What we got here. Leak he's trying to push his right flank as well, but you see, he's a. Uh, he has some issues with his micro. He's, uh, he's placing them too late while uh, Lorinium, he's uh, kiting. Shoot and back, shoot and back, that's kiting. So, that will give casualties to the French advancing lines. And here what we got, we have kiting on the other side. Um, Leak is trying to save his uh, voltages from this foot guard unit. While he's at the same time... Excuse me, they're trying to... He's trying to nail to catch these British foot infantry units though I think he has a problem about positioning his men no, Lerinum he's keep moving over here while uh, Leak <coughs> he tries to get his men in a better position but <coughs> he always miss that because Lerinum is moving very fast here on his left though these good guys they are wounded and wounded okay you see, he didn't uh, give any shots to the light foot. He, he's trying to get a better position, but he hasn't fired for the last two minutes. So he's taking casualties from the British lines. And here's a problem from Layak. This foot is rooting now. I think he's busy to save his voltages from the foot guard here. That's why he's doing so many mistakes here on the right flank. Though. Larinum, he's pushing his right flank here slowly. He and he gave probably a direct order to to hunt down these voltages. Okay, the foot guards are out, but that gave time to Larinum to deploy better his men. So what we got? We got uh, one, two, three. Le French light infantry, three Swiss foot and uh, general staff, and. Here's the British forces, foot infantry, foot, foot, four foot infantry, five, six, six to three, that's double number, and three light infantry units. There is a possibility. Oh, yep, there they are. That Swiss foot came, uh, returned to the game. And now there are six foot infantry versus four, a classic general staff, and there are equal uh, equal in uh, the light infantry units. But I think that uh, the British light infantry it's a little bit better than the French, and I'm not sure w what is going on with their ammunition, both of them. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, you got fight here. Sorry about this, I forgot completely, I was mocking. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about this. Um, Le <coughs> Leia close to one of, of his uh, voltage units. The other two now, they're engaging the, the British light infantry over there. But here is a danger from the two British foot infantry units that are trying to overflank the French voltageers. So here I think Leak is going to try to engage the British lines over here. Um, he's almost in range. Though this is foot, they're shooting to the British uh, light infantry over there. Yep. Leak is going to try to get his light infantry out of the British foot infantry flanking move over there. And he's engaging the. British troops over here. We got uh, morale issues for both players. 
French general is here. He's gonna boost morale. Okay, morale is fixed for the French player. Larinum is doing the same. Picton is coming, <coughs> but uh, you know, British has a a three-star general versus a regular. I think there are sixty percent, sixty-five percent for Britain to win. But here we have a, a charge from the French general versus this footy front trade. They did the square. That's uh, oh bad news for the French player. If he loses his general, then the game is over. Oh, he forgot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> bye, bye, mon ami. Okay, now Laronium Le is uh, finishing his flanking move versus the French forces, the remaining French forces. The French general is out of the game, and I don't think that these uh, two remaining French units can turn the, the game to their favor. So I think it's a win for Laurinium, three points for him, though it was a very good game. I think uh, the game was lost from uh, Layak because he did some, uh, not tactical, but move movement mistakes, especially with his uh, right flank. And... I think that's why he lost his uh, the game. Also, he did a mistake with his uh, strong left part flank over here, which he was shooting the British light infantry and not the regular foot infantry units. Let's see unit statistics. Oh, nice job from the King German Legion light foot. They killed almost one unit. The foot guard did a good job there. Okay. And Major General Pector killed one man. Okay. Battle results. Losses, losses. Okay. Laurin won the game because he had 2,000 men almost. Okay, that was the game. Thank you all for watching and hope to, to see you soon to my other video. Bye bye.